No question. When it's like that, you know, they, you know, they physically whooped us. And, you know, and, you know, it was just like a snowball effect. When it started going bad, it just went bad, and you know, we start trying to overcompensate and do this, and and really just go back to every individual just doing his job instead of trying to make a play here and this guy and this guy. And, it just, you know, it just nothing went well, and we didn't know how we didn't respond well to it. I don't say we didn't know how, but we just didn't respond well. You, you could attribute that, you know, it's, it's, it could be many factors. You know, it can be, you know, I, I don't want, I don't want to play the youth game because we, we played, we played, you know, ten games, but it can be a many factors. Like I said, those guys want to win. Those guys press, and when things start going bad, everybody wants to try to make the play instead of just. Do what you're supposed to do, and you know that comes. You know that comes with age, and like I said, you know lining up with the guys we lining up with, and you know nobody wanted to admit it, but it, it was going to be on the job training, and the only way you're going to learn from your mistakes is you got to get out there and make them, and they making them. And, you know we said that at the beginning of the year, and, and you know but the course and and the path hasn't changed for us. It hasn't. You know we still on the on course and. and and like I said, it was on the job training. And nobody, I hate to admit it, but it's, it's on the job training. The things that they're going through, I wish we didn't have to go through it. But like I said, as long as they're learning from it, I, I think. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's so hyperactive, you know, and that's, you, you don't want to take that away from him. Uh, because his approach to the game, I do I do love and I do admire the, the, the speed of the game he plays at. And when he plays with you no know, reckless abandon with his body. And, and I really appreciate that about it. But the part we, we can't tolerate is you know busted coverages or mental laps. You know one mental lapse is you know okay we can handle that, but if you get two or three in the game, uh, that becomes a problem. So we wanted to have him sit back, you know sit back and take a deep breath, and then when he's on the field, you know just to you know, take a, take a take a look at the picture, see what you're seeing, play within the call. You know don't try to go outside outside the plays and uh, just play to your limits and uh, play, play, uh, play to your calls and uh, and then the whole deal is not to not to leave anyone. You know, Sharp and Bell. I think everybody knows he'll be having surgery tomorrow. So what we're trying to do is we're just rotating them right now. And uh, Coach Chiz and us talked about it. And what we're trying to do is just rotate, get as many reps as we can this week because, you know, we've got to have several ready to play. You know, and, of course, that rearranges the nickel and dime situation and stirs things up again. So we're just rotating them around, trying to get the best combinations right now. And uh, we'll know probably tomorrow we'll be starting. Unless the plate is tore up about it tore up about it and uh, you know uh, they gave him the news the other night during the ball game and he was quite upset you know and uh, uh, rightfully so and uh, right now you know we got to you know stay with the book stay with the studies and uh, you know and then he's got to rehab so we you know and that's uh, what we've talked about and, and he, he's a competitor he'll fight back. Well, six and four probably especially six and four mm -hmm. I would say. And, uh, you know, he never got much recognition. He didn't get much last year uh, for obvious reasons because Cam was there, but he's one of the best backs in the country. Mr. Vaughn is finally getting back healthy where he can, uh, you know, take some hits. And you probably notice it looks like he's got on Brandon Mosley's shoulder pads, you know, kind of wide out there. So some potential. he has plenty of potential, but potential means you haven't done it yet. That's what that means to me. And uh, that's why I tell those guys. You can have all the potential in the world, if you, but you have to go out there and do it. Not only, you know, doing the game, you have to do it in practice. You know, if and, and that's where trevon has got to get better at. With, you know, he's, you know, trying to protect that shoulder and that. And I can't afford to put a guy that's trying to protect himself. <coughs> but like I said, he, he seems like he's moving around a lot better. Um, uh, even talk to him about, you know, getting back and maybe catching some more punts and doing some kickoff returns and things like that, just to get him back into the flow and then uh, putting him back out there on offense. That will happen gradually as, you know, we feel confident that he can do it, you know, physically too, not just mentally, because he's done a good job of learning what to do. Now it's, you know, I'm not going to turn the ball over because I'm protecting my shoulder or something like that. So, um, but he's a tough kid, so uh, and, and he understands what the expectations are, and he's going to have to earn that.